Hi guys, so today I'm doing a holidays look. I'm doing a holidays look, but it's not really the holidays. But I'm just showing you how to get ready for the holidays. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna look like a gingerbread girl. It's gonna be really cute. So first off, we're gonna use this new lip pencil that I got. It's bright red, cause gingerbread men have red lips and so we're gonna use this. Oh yeah, by the way, if I look up at all, it's because there's a mirror. So we're just going to do our real lips this time. If you have thin lips like I do on the top, you can add a little, but we don't want to stain when you're trying to get it off. That's not really fun. So it just looks real red. Be sure to do the sides too. There. Now your bright red lips. It's really great. Now for the blush. I'm not gonna do foundation for now. So we're gonna just move on to blush. So what we're gonna do to make it look more like frosting, I also got some new coral lipstick. So we're just gonna put it in perfect circles. Perfect, perfect circles, like this perfect, all right? This perfect. So we're gonna have to do some really perfect circles to make it look like frosting. Of course, you need to take the cap off. I almost made that mistake. See? Perfect circles. Now for the other side. They're really pink. It's a really good thing. Tr <clears throat> Trust me. So now for the eyeshadow. There's not going to be as much since gingerbread girls don't have very much, but there's one thing that's really going to hit the spot. Wait for it. Vibrant purple eyeliner is sure to do the trick. It's going to be great. So as you know, I don't use any mascara. So I'm going to make, like, I'm going to do, like, eyeliner and do, like, like eyelashes. Because, you know, if it's a gingerbread girl, they don't actually have eyelashes. But they do have, like, frosting ones. So we're going to make it look like that. Oh, yeah. All the stuff I've been using is brand new. If you want to know the brand, it's Wet n Wild. Yeah, it's from CVS. Anyway, we're just going to go along the eye with the bright purple. See that? You have to be sure to make it really dark so people can actually see it's there. See? It's purple. Now you kind of have to like do more of it so it's darker. 
so you can like, see it better. But it still works when it's darker. See, now we're going to draw another one. See? And now, because we have it hanging, we're going to do the under stuff. Alright, if you were wondering what was hanging, it was it wasn't a book, it was like the makeup. Alright. It's a good on that side. And then we'll do the other side. See that? Alright, great. His side didn't turn out as good, but it still turned out. Oh yeah, if you're wondering, it wasn't a joke. Because if it was, I didn't find it funny. Anyway. There. Okay. Now we've done our eyeliner. Now it's time to do the eyeshadow. So it we're kind of have kind of have a, we're gonna have our face covered in brown, you know, to get the gingerbread cookie look. So what we're gonna do? We're also gonna do black eyeliner on top of the purple. It's gonna be cool. So just our, we're not gonna do the eyelashes part. Just above the purple, like. On the eyelid, that's all. To give it more like depth. Boho taught me actually one thing useful. She taught me what the crease was. We're gonna kind of like do the crease of the eye with the black eyeliner. That's like the one thing Boho taught me that's yeah, actually useful. The rest is just meh. Oh yeah, if you haven't seen it yet, it's really great. Really great. I watched it. Mm hmm Anyway. Let's give it some real in-depth of the eye. Like that. You have a real in depth of the eye. See that? You go like that, it gives it real depth. The crease. Anyway, but you can still see the purple so it looks good. Okay, let's do the other eye now. There. Oh, they're uneven. Oops. You're probably thinking my face kind of looks plain. Well, don't worry, it's going to be spruced up. There. Gives it real in-depth of the eye. And you can still see the purple. This is what makes it real great. Now for the real eyeshadow. Moving on from the eyeliner. We're going to have a bit of color, but not too much. I'm going to go back to my favorite eyeshadow palette. Oops. I spilled my lipstick on the ground. Just a second. <clears throat> Alright, here's my eyeshadow brush. And what we're going to do, we're just going to do a little bit. We're not going to go over the eyebrow this time or on the eyebrow, just underneath the eyebrow. Because gingerbread girls don't have that much makeup, unfortunately. Hmm. How about let's use... 
Um, how about blue? That would make a real pop. So we're going to just do blue over the black. See? Gives it a real pop, doesn't it? We're going to go all the way down there. Just not on the eyelashes or anything, just the eyelid. There, like that. It gives it a real pop. And do like the bottom of the eyebrow, just to give it like that real line of definition. Actually, looking at myself in the. On the screen, I look pretty good so far. And in the mirror. I don't know how I'm going to be just such a good makeup artist. I just am. It's just one of my traits. You know, I was like, my in it was like my instinct to do makeup. there. Oh yeah, if you, in all of my videos you hear a clicking, I'm, I'm putting it in the sink. Anyway, I got some new brown foundation to make you look like a cookie. Alright, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take a q-tip and spread this all around our face to make us look like a cookie. Are you supposed to shake it? I don't know. I'll shake it in just in case. There. Just shake your foundation just to be safe, all right? I don't want anyone getting hurt. Then I could get sued. Oh, it's awesome. It kind of looks like your beard or a puppet right now. Like you have a beard or a puppet or something. But it you look like a cookie. Now you can do all around your neck and face and arms and legs and body, but it's not the holidays, so I'm not going to do that. Feel free to, if you're wanting to do this for the holidays, you, I'm just going to do my face for now, all right? Sorry to disappoint you. Some people, when I wear this, like, say I just look like I'm covered in mud, but they're mean bullies. Anyone who tells you it looks bad is a mean bully, right? Be sure not to mess up any of the lines, because then just start over it. It'll ruin the look. Real cookie looking. I, I just couldn't use black like I did with Pocahontas, and it wasn't all too great when I used black. Although it was good for the look. But I don't want to have the black look this time. I mean, you can use black if you really want, but then you'll look like a burnt cookie. Not just a regular cookie. Sorry, it might be taking a while, but it kind of takes a little while to cover your face in one color. Now, I'm not going to put it in my eyebrows because I've heard that lipstick stains your eyebrows, and so I like my eyebrow color. Uh, I, mean, you, I mean, you can use eyeshadow, but that washes out, but the, uh, ex liquidy sticky stuff doesn't wash up. Anyway, 
So that's why I'm not going to do my eyebrows. So I'm just going to go around the eyebrows and later we can cover them in a dark brown to match. And even if you, and if you have dark eyebrows, no need. I look lovely so far. Now, you can go all the way up to your hairline if you want, but I don't want to bother doing the hairline. So I'm just going to do a circle, like a big oval. All right. Oh no. Oh no. I got foundation on my shirt. Oh no. Oh no. Anyway, just continue on and be sure not to drip it on your shirt because this is what it does. There we are. You're all covered in brown. So you look like a cookie. Now, if you need touch-ups on, like, your lipstick or something, I would recommend doing that. I'm going to do that right now, actually. Who is it? A visitor. Want to come in? Dinner's ready. Oh. Hi. Brunhilda, I'm so nice. I'm so happy to see you. Uh, do you want to come in for a makeover? No, it's uh, dinner's ready downstairs. Oh. Okay. Would you like to come? I'm doing a makeover. Well, it's kind of. I can't. Brunhilda, I don't have time. I seriously can't come. Bye. Uh, dinner invitations. I get so many of those. They all come right when I'm doing makeovers. It's so irritating. No, anyway, let's darken up our eyebrows a bit. So, we'll just take a dark, the dark brown, or we'll do, yeah, do a dark brown. And it'll help blend in your eyebrows. Be sure not to get it in the foundation, because it's sticky. <laughs> There, see that kind of blends in more. <sighs> Brunhilda, don't barge in. We're literally coming, or we're literally going to eat, like, right now. I'm busy, Brunhilda. I just told you that I can't come to dinner. So many dinner invitations. All right. Thank you guys for watching.
This is how you look like a gingerbread girl for the holidays. To look like a cookie. Anyway, thank you for watching. I'm so happy you actually watch my stuff and not ignore it. Thanks.